Actually, he lost a long time ago. The nerds won. And we all know it's a potsy world now, in more ways than one. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days for Arthur Fonzarelli? Maybe. And what about the nerds in Silicon Valley? They're hot. Tech is so hot it's a wildfire and nothing's gonna put it out except more technology and then we're all doomed. But maybe Fonzie can cool it off. After all, he's concerned about data privacy and artificial intelligence. Isn't he? Fonzie gets on his bike and he makes his way to Silicon Valley to meet the nerds. He wants the tech giants to offer jobs and training to people who used to be cool like Fonzie. He wants jobs to stay in the States. You see, Fonzie's a thinker. When he's working on cars, his mind roams freely. Fonzie shows up. They take one look at him and they say, the guy in the leather jacket with the thumbs up, that's Facebook. Guy looks like a loser, but he looks like he's got heart. Maybe he could help change our culture. People really don't trust us. Maybe they'll trust him. Can he code? No. What? He's got an AOL address. Oh, for crying out loud. Put him in event planning. Get his face out there. Let the people see him. They'll get a kick out of him. I mean, look how he snaps his fingers and nothing happens. And what's with the jukebox? Saturday, what a day, grooving all week with you. They send the Fonz out, and he's a big hit. But why not? He can't do any worse than what's out there now. The Fonz goes to Washington on behalf of Silicon Valley, and the politicians love him. They trust him. Is Fonzie cool again? No, but he's relevant. Fonzie and the Valley last about six weeks. The Valley is too fast moving. They're on to the next, next thing. They're talking to Chachi now. But Fonzie's presence lingers. They think about him a lot. They say, how can we help people like the Fonz, losers who can't code? Ah, it's a dream I have. The Fonz, a winner again. Sit on it, Silicon Valley. Day.